It was her first time behind the wheel of a go-kart. It was also the start of a painful journey for Shelby Crouch. The last thing I remember is um, being in the go-kart, um, holding onto the st steering wheel, and that's it. I don't remember ever driving. Crouch's long locks got gripped in the spinning axle at Whiteland Raceway. 80% of her scalp was ripped from her head. The brutal force of it left her with a traumatic brain injury, hearing loss, and a skull fracture. This is my collection of bandanas. Now she wears a bandana to cover her bald head. There are still days where I get down. Um, I mean, there's not a day that doesn't go by that I don't look at myself in the mirror when I'm brushing my teeth or anything like that, and I just have glimpses of what did I used what I used to look like, um, and you know, yearn for that back. Days after Shelby's accident, an IT made investigation uncovered industry standards established in 2000 state that all rotating or heated parts of recreational go-karts should be covered. But the axles at Whiteland were exposed. And while industry standards exist, the state has no law that enforces them. Now, Shelby and her mom will push lawmakers for change. Why is it our state that doesn't have such laws? It's just the duty of the state to make sure that each one of their citizens is safe while having fun. I don't want another mother to ever have to go through this, and I don't want another person to have to go through what Shelby's been through. When we first started stringing them around the wall. Shelby hasn't been alone. Above her bed, get well cards from friends, family, and strangers form across. Still, she has tough days. They're few and far between. They're getting there, at least. She credits her faith in helping her get through those tough times. And it's why she's talking now, nine months after her accident, about what happened. People coming to me and saying, you know, Shelby, you're an inspiration. Your story is an inspiration. Um, because that doesn't, I try not let that go to my head. I mean, I give all the glory to God. I mean, without him, I wouldn't be here. And Shelby's getting national attention for her efforts. Her story was featured last night on Inside Edition. Tomorrow, she finishes a semester at IUPUI. Later this month, she will undergo a fifth surgery. And her medical bills, as you can imagine, are about half a million dollars and still climbing. Her family has a fund for donations set up through Chase Bank. You can learn more about that, plus see all the stories we've done on Shelby, her accident, and the carding industry at wishtv.com. Um...